Hey. Yeah, so, uh, anyway, a friend of mine in here tells me that a close friend of yours, go you've been spending a lot of time with recently, swept the clean off her feet. Okay. Yeah, her old boyfriend wants her back. They always do. Desperately and quickly, and he's looking for her. I think you and her should go out on a glamorous date in Algonquin. Show her a new pad. Then, things will be okay between you two. But move your fucking ass, pal. Women don't like a chump, you get me? You're moving up over to Bowling Street. Not in the cab of this car, I'm not. After last time, she can ride in the trunk. Fair enough. Ah, bitch just bit me. I think she has something to say. You motherfuckers, when my daddy finds you, he's gonna kill you. He's gonna kill everybody you've Get ever you ever around. Thanks a lot. Sorry, guys. We're keeping this bitch. Nico, what took you? Fucking, how you say? Guidos was all over my tail. You got Gracie in the trunk, do you? Yeah. Shit, Nico, her neck's broke. Fuck! Fucking control your driving when the car goes this valuable. I'll be in touch. You're moving up. Ah!
Nico, my man. Katie's taking over on my duty, so I'll be watching this Guido bitch for you. Where is she? In the trunk. She don't play too nice up front. Gracie, Gracie, act nice now. You motherfuckers, I'll rip your cocks off! Help! Help me! Let me out of here! She's a wild one. I'll try to calm her down. See you later, Nico. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you! I'll fucking kill you! Yeah! I need the car, man! <gasps> what? Hey. Yeah? What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is, everything's coming together. Bad news? Ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Pack, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is going to agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, it turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. Gracie is waiting for you just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. Hey, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Ah! Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking love the fuck of you. Gracie? Watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with lowlifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. I don't know what fucking uses! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. I don't fuck her! Somewhere to go, we may as well go at pace. I like it. Have a nice day.
Jesus! Gracie, you all right? Daddy? The bastards didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle, we walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelik. How is it? That one ever something is stolen from me? You are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Cancha is! you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. Follow me. Follow me. One of them ain't got long. You got him, my man. Good fucking work. There's some more of them up there. This has got to be this way. Let's split up. I'll take the high road and you take the low road.
Give us that fucking ice! You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Llévano esto. You selfish piece of cock sucking shit. Cock-sucking piece of shit! Shit, I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Fuck, fuck, fuck! All that trouble for nothing. Kidnapping the bitch, holding on to her, fighting through them damn Russians, all of that for jack shit. Look on the bright side. At least you got to meet Gracie. Screw that. I got close to knocking her teeth out. That was about it. We ain't got shit now. Maybe we was gonna have to give up them diamonds to fucking Ray Bacino, but we would have got a payday. Now we ain't getting shit. Yeah, but there is no guarantee we would have made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got a suspicion those were the ones Ray Bacino got me to handle a while back. They're bad luck. Me and some biker had to try to sell them to a diamond dealer, and it turns into a bloodbath. That was when those friends of Gracie's must have gotten them. Stole them from you, did they? No. They stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit. These diamonds have been trouble since Ray first made me take them out of a trash can for them. It's good they're on their way to a landfill somewhere. Best place for them. The population of Liberty City would have been higher if we had. You might be right, Nico. Whose fucking diamonds were they anyway? They're not Ray's, I can tell you this much. Maybe they belong to this homosexual man, Gracie's friend. Well, I don't know, maybe to Bulgarin. Bulgarin? He the motherfucker who busted up our peaceful hostage exchange? What in Christ's name went on back there anyways? Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bulgarin in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk. The cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bulgarin lost a lot of money that night and he needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. What are the chances? Our paths crossed back when I was living in Holt Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Bohem to get away from him and another man called Dmitry Raskolov. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Holt Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one lucky motherfucker, Pecky. Trouble, I hope. Well, Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Pecky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. You know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. Hey, Ray. I got some bad news for you. You weren't the only one who thought they owned those diamonds. Turns out the serious Russian called Bulgarin claims ownership as well. Damn it, Nicky, cut the bullshit! You got him? Where are they? Liberty City dump? I don't know. They got thrown into traffic. Hey, Roman, you ever wonder if things are just coincidence or if everything is all planned? You mean like when you sleep with two girls on one night? Turn out to be mother and daughter? I mean like this Dominican-looking guy shot up a deal I was trying to make. Then I've kidnapped this girl, and we're handing her over for these same diamonds, and this Dominican-looking guy is there again. So he steals the diamonds at the deal and then has to give them back for the girl. What's the big deal? It's not as much of a coincidence as the mother and daughter. Thanks for putting things in perspective, Roman. Later on.
love to disappoint me, Nico Pelik. You really do. Are you disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitri Raskolov? Do not worry. Your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along? I have no debts to Bulgarin, Dimitri. And the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It's only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. Path. Eddie Lowe, the animal masturbator. <laughs> you and your wicked sense of humor. You're quite naughty. Quite, quite naughty. Whatever. Quite naughty. Do you like to get spanked? Excuse me? <laughs> no, nothing silly. I'm just being silly. Silly little Billy, that's me. <laughs> I, I like it, though. I like to get spanked. Fuck off. You're creeping me out. No, I don't want to make you angry, Nico. I don't want to be creepy. It's just my way. Well, your way is not cool. Not cool? You say Eddie's not cool? I don't fit in with the in crowd? Well, Mrs. Smith, Eddie's taken your star son, your prized little quarterback, and fucked him in the ass, and then tied him up, strangled him into knots, and your daughter? Your pretty little daughter, Mrs. Abrahams? And he's ripped out her intestines just to see if he could feel anything. And you know what? He couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't. You should get laid or something. Oh, I just did. A little jogger down by the water. But you know what, handsome? I got a hunger tonight that can't be sated. Come here! Huh. Ugh. Stop crying and stay down. Hey. Uh, who you waving at? Feds, I think. They always drive past at this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses. All of them. All of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who'll really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Uh, uh sure. I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm s nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. So, listen. We got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that, that you're meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. Thank you.
think that guy works for the Pegarinos? God, they must be desperate. Let's lose him on the way to the meet. Got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Gave some that all that ass Pecorino curve. Is there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little cake then. And something up the left. That's how us Italians can do a thing for centuries. Good thing I'm not Italian. I didn't think you guys knew each other. Nor did I. He called me up and said that you really liked me and wanted me to be there. Is that true, Nico? I guess it is. I'll see you at the wedding then. Hi, uh, Mr. Abid. I, I was expecting you to call me. Thank you, Bryce Dawkins. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds. Malik, I want to introduce you to 
John Gravelli, head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. Pegorino? They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shotla Medical Center. Tell him you were sent by a mutual friend. He's expecting you. Hope the internet is worth it. Any trouble, you're... Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven horse, seven race, hey, Joe Phil. Show. What? Hey, pal, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. <laughs> no, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's the slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. That be. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss! Said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're racked, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. 
If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I'd want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses coming. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the enchiladas have a falling out, and we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. Easy. Shit, you sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an acting class. I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Watch it, Nico. All right, this is the truck. Why we need this truck? There must be a shitload of coke we're taking. There should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them load it up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked at. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't. And I ain't neither. That's why we got to at least try to do what we're told to do. You're going to learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife, there ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there is some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. If I don't fuck up a guy a day, it's what I'm good at. <laughs> hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Relax. That guy is going to die. Eat fucking ass. Having a good day. Watch my back. I'm coming for you. Nico, I need some help here!
on the right, you get the one on the left. Come on, move! Go! We're heading to the docks in North Holland. Move out. You handled yourself real good back there. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. Not you as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you. Done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quietly! Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean... Jesus, what a chump! <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But 
the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course, he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me? So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay. Okay, don't worry. <sighs> You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, god complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside. Sean, you're terrible. Anyone flatlines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. Patient's back there, Doc. Look after him. Can I have some time alone with my patient? I wanted to stretch my legs anyway. Boss? Peg, is that you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it looks like I messed something up. Sorry about that, Anthony. Ah, my arm! Oh, Peg! Peg! I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking bitch. Turning everybody into rats. See you around, Eagle. 